What's up guys, welcome back to Sash the Motive Vlogs. Ding! Alright, today we're gonna test out the TP-Link AX3000 or AX50, I think it's called somewhere. Where is the name? Yeah, it says it, AX50, yeah? Right there, can you see that? So basically what we're gonna do, we know it works as a router. I'm going to teach you how to make it work as an access point in the back. So this is the house, right? Let me show you. There's the house. Okay. What you need to do, you need to drill a hole from your house all the way through the wall there. Understood? From the house, you drill a hole and then to the back in your shed, wherever you are, where you want your internet connection, you drill another hole. Next, you need a wire long enough. It looks like this. You need an ethernet wire. Can you see that? You need this. Ethernet wire. Or ethernet, wherever. But you need it as long as it gets to the back. So I've got this one. I bought extra. And you'll see that now. You see that wire? Look how much extra I bought. That's 50 meters. So make sure you make sure you measure it properly. So I bought a Cat7 Ethernet cable. You can easily get one. So what you need to do, once you've drawn your holes and stuff, you plug it in from the internet. So this will be in the main house. This is your router. This is my other router. But this is just for example. So this would be in the main house, right? This needs to be clipped into a LAN, right? So the wire that you bought, you clip one side to the LAN, here. And the other side, you're gonna bring the one that feeds through all the walls and comes through to the back. You need to put into this port of the TP link. It's the blue one. So there's orange, orange, and then there's blue. Yeah, you see that? Alright, once that's all done, you need to go to your computer, yeah, and TP-Link will teach you how to set it up. You turn it into an access point, and it turns into an access point. Once it's all set up, then you have internet connection in the back. Let me show you, by doing a speed test, at how much it runs by. There's a 5G connection and a normal connection. So, we're going to do the 5G version. We'll do the normal one first which is like just normal power no 5g and then i'll show you how it is with five as in like with the most power right so we go back to speedtest.net so let's see what it does come on fix it keep going That's the power in the back, 44.07. But now if I switch to 5G, watch what happens. Right, I'm going to test again, let's see what happens. Come on. Look at that. Look at the instant change in power and everything. It's gone up to 200, 40, 50 and climbing. 280 what is that 283 which is great for the back you know what i mean so that is how you use an access point tp link ax50 i hope you enjoy it any questions let me know but yeah that's how you get internet in the back guys check out all my links at the bottom below like share subscribe follow the channel peace out guys over and out